Turn out live. Let's talk about that. I mean, you go uh, just shortly after you uh, did your did your work for us. Yeah. You went to Saturday Night Live and you did uh, an audition. Those are famously tough auditions. Yeah. You got Lauren Michaels sitting there. You got all these writers and producers sitting there. Yeah. Who are we gonna pick for the cast? What did you do? How did you prepare for your audition? Uh, I, I I just went in there and I was like, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna do what I've been doing on the road. And what I've been doing on the road was a bunch of crackhead material. So uh, <laughs> I, I did, I, I talked about crackheads. See, my uncle was a crackhead. We didn't even know at first. We just thought he was a fun dude. Because <laughs> 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 when you don't know what crack is, you're a kid, you don't know what crack is. Right, you right. know, you just, it, at first crackhead I saw, he was like, yo, we're gonna get everything we wanna get. Today is the day. Yeah, man, today is a day. <laughs> yeah, man, that was the same dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? It was crazy. Huh? But LA is like LA has like weirder crackheads. In Chicago, we have cream to the crimmer crackheads. Right. But like <laughs> LA, they're weird out here, man, because they're like, uh, I feel like it's because they came out here for a dream and then found crack. So, you know. They came out here maybe to be an actor yeah. or somehow pr pursue show business mm -hmm. and then they got sidetracked. Yeah, yeah. so, the, so they, they approached the crackhead lifestyle just a little more presentation. Like, I, I was on Hollywood Boulevard and this crackhead stopped me and was like, hey, brother, pick a card. Any card, and he didn't have any cards in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> and I was furious about this, man. I was like, "There's no card in your hand, man!" And he looked me dead in my eyes and was like, "Ta-da!" <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's not magic. You're unprepared. <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> did you ever see that guy again? No, I did. I, I literally did. Like two weeks later, I saw the same dude, right? Uh, I, but at, not right away. I saw these two girls. Uh, one girl was having a birthday, and she was like, it's my birthday, Woo! She was a little drunk, and her friend was helping her walk, like, yes, Rebecca, it's your birthday, now use your legs, girl. Yeah. And then as they're walking past this bush, this magical crackhead jumped out the bushes. I don't know how long he had been sitting in there. I, I would guess all day, but yeah. uh, as soon as they walked past, he jumped out. He's like, don't nobody give a damn about your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and then he walked back in the bushes. <laughs> he just sat back now, down again? Yeah, he just walked back in like that Homer meme. He yeah, just yeah, walked yeah. back in. <laughs> I've never seen a grown man walk back in some bushes like he had other stuff to attend to. It was insane. Oh, I love that guy. Dude, I had so many questions. I had yeah. to ask him. So, but I, I wasn't going in those bushes. That's, right. that's ridiculous. Right. So I stood outside the bushes. I said the one thing I could think of to get him to pop out. So I was like, uh, it's my birthday too. <laughs> I thought that was his trigger, right? And, uh, and all he said from the bushes was, no, it ain't. <laughs> how do you know this? How do you know it's not my birthday? And he, all he said was, ta-da. I'm like, you, you got lucky. You got lucky, fam. You got to love that guy. I do. I love him. I, I left him some money there. I was like, hey, make sure you use it for food. Right, he'll come back out.